the group stage. 18 teams earned a place in Vancouver for the international, but only 16 are destined to face off on the main stage. The first two days of Dota brought many surprises. The battle for the ages is on, and it's Matu snatching the ages to four black hole on the four, they caught them all. Everybody's gone triple kill. Coming into day three, the upper bracket spots were still up for grabs, and the battle in pursuit of them was fierce. Could it be a triple rampage? Yes, it's a, tri <laughs> a triple rampage for Army! You gotta be kidding me. Two open qualifier teams, Evil Geniuses and VGJ Storm, defied the established order early, seizing control of the groups from the very first day. But only VGJ Storm maintained their lead and guaranteed themselves a spot in the upper bracket by just the end of day three. Defending champions Team Liquid were the victims of the most lopsided loss seen at the tournament this year. Now the cleanup happens as Liquid lose for 39 to 1. Have we ever seen Liquid lose a game this bad? But conceding that game seemed to light a fire beneath them, which drove them to a close to flawless run to the top spot. Unprecedented pressure, unforgiving opponents and nerves can often muzzle an otherwise fierce underdog. Day four for TI's first Brazilian squad was perhaps where said pressure struck. Behind King RD, he's dead for 40 seconds. Tavo's, Tavo's dead as well. That's going to be the hopes. It's just it. one after another, and Pain Gaming are going to be eliminated here at the International 2018. CIS qualifiers Windstrike, contrary to their namesake, were left with the threat of elimination resting on their last series of the groups. OG. A house name in Dota stood between them and their first main stage experience. A spectacular performance with their backs against the ropes gave them that chance. They've already taken the fight against OG, now they come back with a three-man paradise! OG, what did you expect out of that? A convincing 2-0 tiebreaker over IG cemented it. Optic Gaming was another team who became all too familiar with the perils of the group stage. And I get you are. They've got the damage. Pyke has no BKB, no escape. Pyke, he's dead for 110 seconds. But an undefeated run on day four took them from the fear of elimination to being within arm's reach of the upper bracket. A three-way tie. Newbie, Secret, and Optic. The idea? Three best of ones between the tied squads. The reality? two quick games of Dota that crush newbies' chances of another upper bracket run. As the last throne fell, our main event bracket was set. Now each team knows their next opponent, but little else is certain, except that the Aegis of Champions awaits in Rogers Arena. Welcome to Vancouver. For the very first time in history, the International comes to you live in Canada. Welcome to the International! The defending champions Team Liquid face Team Optic for the first match of the day. PPD, not again, not like this. He's going to be jumped, lassoed back, and the Crystal Maiden is mauled. And CCNC, the triple kick, G8, G God, so good, triple kill for Miracle. And that really is probably the game. They're in fact doing it. GG call for Optic Gaming. Liquid dominates Optic in two games and begin their climb to another Aegis. Two of the tournament's favorites clash head-on. It's PSG LGD versus VP. Somnus certainly stepped up his game. The world may maybe going right for the initiation as well. Oh, the black hole hits onto nothing. LGD potentially has an opening here. They don't have buyback, Trent. They are losing this tier three tower. The only heroes alive are the Enigma and the Bane, and they're calling for the tier four towers. PSG LGD. After stealing game one from VP, PSG LGD gained the momentum of the whole series and took it 2-0. In the first elimination series, we are treated with two of the most unpredictable teams, and thus the game is truly 50-50. Oh, he's got the Bastion, Supernova already going down, he does manage to get the Bastion coming in, but it's not enough to be able to win that fight. Serenity. After a decisive Roshan fight, Serenity held their lead and sent Fnatic home. 
Up next, frequent rivals of Southeast Asia face off for a spot to move on. TNC have opened up the map, so if they win one team fight, that'll just be a high ground for them. And that puck coming in from behind with the double damage. This could be chaos. It's four dead from TNC. Mineski states off elimination who remains to fight on. TI7 runner-up Newbie begins their run in the lower bracket against Windstrike in a game that'll turn out to be the most grueling match of the day. With the, the flash golem. come through. It's going to help Roche. He's only going to help them here. Newbie's got to get in now if they want to do something about this. Ness CCC looks to come in. Straight in. Newbie gets the Roche out, but Iceberg gets the ages. Buybacks there from Windstrike will allow them to come out on top. Windstrike shows resilience in the face of Titans and makes a short end of Newbie's promising run of TI. The final game of the day features the sister teams of VG Gaming and VGJ Thunder. VKB's out from Sila, but he can't find a target. He has to try and retreat some out, but he's been used up. Ori with the setup into the light strike way on the side. There's the, the echo. Ladam! Ladam's in with the echo slab, gets the oh ball. Absolutely. After claiming an early set of racks, VG Gaming overwhelms VGJ Thunder and claims victory. Open qualifiers VGJ Storm and OG each defied the odds in the group stage before meeting in battle for the first matchup of the day. No, think about diving in for this one. This guy is crazy. He's gonna find the kill in a no-tail. Time lapses away. Double kill for Rezo. Anna, still the one that they need to deal with. He is so hard to kill. They do find the real one, oh, and they get that. the ice path as well. Anna starting to fall. Rezo gets the kill. Underdogs OG weathered VGJ Storm's constant onslaught, and with the help of Anna's Phantom Lancer, snatched this victory in a stunning game one objectives. reversal. There's no buyback on three of these heroes, and OG streaming forward. Anna gonna take a lane of barracks. OG lead by a game to zero. The winner claims a top six finish, guaranteed. You don't want to commit so many onto the Venno, but if you can't get any abilities off, it might be enough. The Winter's Curse, though, to turn it back around. Great play, they're all caught in it. The Light Strike Array on to four. There's the Hulk as well coming from the Venno. They get the sun off, but it's not going to last. They turn on to Rezo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble as all of VGJ Storm. Seizing ball. upon their sudden momentum, OG rolled in game two, dropping VGJ Storm in their first series on the main stage. Next came a series featuring three former champions on EG in secret. Over towards Fly, protect himself inside the supernova. Oh, Trying to reach him, but the three man stun! Jamail hits the ball! Arteezy's Ursa was dominant from the outset for EG. Arteezy looks for the kill on mid one. Nine one charges available. Wait for him in a second, but ball fully locked down, controlled and murdered! But game two would not be so easy. The top lane is pushing in. Does Team Secret take the racks and back out? Can they do it in time? 25 seconds to force the mail. This back to the blood of the living. They have to take the melee racks right now. It's so low on life. And there it is, Team Secret. A full mid racksing, but they're going for more. They're going up with the top lane of racks. Bada tries to send his crown. He'll go down, but Samael is here. Samael, the defender. He will hold him and kill him. A double kill, the call down, clip puppy on the edge. Team Secret, did you just overstay your welcome? After a back and forth 50 minutes, the boys in blue secure a top six finish and set up a grudge match against OG. Lower bracket teams like Optic and Serenity face the constant pressures of elimination. But a confident Optic squad rode CC and C's near perfect storm spirit to a game one victory. XCJ on the side, CCC zips into the middle of all three of them. Look at the track, PYW in with the Vortex Ice Path from PPD catches the two of them. Triple kill on the store as Optic will continue to hold the lead. In game two, Serenity drafted a lineup of their signature heroes. Zai is just setting up so much here. They have two of their cores down bottom ganking this Nyx Assassin while there's a fight going on around the Roche pit. It almost feels like they need a gem because of how obnoxious Zai's being. It was Zai's monster play on Nyx Assassin that led the way for Optic en route to a 2-0 sweep. Virtus Pro have something to prove in their series against Mineski if they hope to overcome their struggles on the main stage. Mineski get the Reaper Scythe on him. That is a big time kill. Mineski has controlled the mid lane and should be able to take the mid tower fine. 
So a pretty beautiful overgrowth there from Roger in the back lines. Does manage to control up all these heroes. Ramsey focused down Moon, turns, and now Ice 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 is going to die a second time. They barely scrape by Mineski, outlasting the Southeast Asian squad in a buyback-filled final fight. A little bit more. Oh, Mushi's he gone. Pushing. He tried to come in and bail out his heroes, and Mushi's dead. Down for two minutes, 90 seconds on Moon. Ice 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 is coming up next. He'll die. Just focused down for the swap every single time by Ramsey's. Verdes Pro, one big fight is all they needed. Game two would be Mineski's last in the tournament, as no one's clinks proved unkillable. Snow at Ramsey's. And Moon actually Here's the sandwich. No mana whatsoever. Ice 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 doesn't have a second life either. The Blade Mail will not stop no one from claiming that life. Now Moon. He's gotten bashed. He's no, gone. He's bashed up. He has to jump away for HP. Is that what he's going to live on? Ramsey's so close. The silence. The silence. Oh, he can't jump away. Ramsey's. Wipes the rest of Mineski. Oh, what a disaster for Mineski. The final Southeast Asian team are eliminated, and Virtus Pro live to fight on. It was do or die for BGJ, Storm, and Windstrike, a single series standing between each team at elimination. No stranger to the pressures of the lower bracket, Resolution and his Drow Ranger led BGJ, Storm, to a game one win. Out in front, the two-person gust, the pin of follow-up. Look at the damage coming out as they've got Silent again. No, if you're trying to take away Resolution from the fight. No answers there for the Drow line of BGJ, Storm. But it was a second Drow draft in Game 2 that would eject Windstrike from the tournament. Despite strong lanes by the CIS squad, BGJ Storm dominated team fights, kindling hopes for a lower bracket run. Next, two veteran teams, Secret and Vici Gaming, would find themselves in a fight for their tournament lives. Bottom's Earthshaker rose to the challenge, sending a back and forth brawl Vici's way. Hang on, mid one, hang on, you did this before. He's thinking about doing it again. Side of Fizz, but the Syrian chains. Last Ray tries to buy space, but mid one's dropping quickly. He needs more time. Manasel, another side of Fizz, but the jump up. Oh! oh it's the time! Beachy's game two draft would feature four of the same heroes. But Secret's adjustments had them ready for the challenge, and they took Beachy's high ground after just 30 minutes. Forcing the first game three of the tournament, Secret leveled up their play. After another 30-minute beatdown, Vici was left defeated. Team Secret took the day. In the upper bracket, two TI favorites squared off for a classic showdown of East meets West. PSG LGDs saw this pulled off one of the best solo performances in TI history. It happens again. He's gonna Sonnis. steal the stack. Gonna steal this entire stack. But Killy has so much thirst, it grows getting lower and lower. Liquid have to be careful with this engagement to try and go for the rupture toss coming in. With the Fisher stopping him from being able to relocate out. That was a beautiful hit. My control comes in a bit too late. Fighting into a blade mail. He's gonna try and finish off some this double kill for some this. He is not letting Liquid come back into this game, too. With the final line of 16 kills and zero deaths, his Bloodseeker brought PSG LGD one step closer to ultimate victory. The final series of the day was perhaps the most anticipated, as fans could sense a growing rivalry between Evil Geniuses and OG. The Tornado coming in from the side, just managed catch to catch two. him pretty low, they're moving into the pit, there's the black hole! Coming out under the two of them, they've lost the bench! The Roshan's still being fun. Thompson's Invoker created absolute chaos for EG. Can he keep this man alive though? He doesn't have the black hole back up yet, but Anna with a big gust sending him back. Tornado, Thompson, he's in with the back of the beat here! Deadly Blast coming down, Thompson with the save! As the Fisher projects, it sets up for another. The cold snap, Spirit Vessel, no tell. He comes in to join the party. And Damn. game one, OG, they absolutely crush it. 32. OG started fast in game two, looking to end EG's upper bracket hopes quickly. Counter there, the, the last curse, word. stopping the chance for Fly to hold himself in place. As there's the tip. Oh, the tip from They're the coming team. out. No Tails feeling pretty good about himself. But just when all seemed lost for the North American favorites, EG rallied behind S4's Enchantress and dashed OG's early hopes of a sweep. They'll snowball forward onto S4, but OG, they're going to be free left alive. Thompson's going straight for the TV out the charge. Crick gets the kill. No Tails, that is one of the jerks. EG hold. We have a series.
plays on our hands. Tied 1-1 between these two teams, and Evil Geniuses brings back the win in Game 2 as we get ready for a Game 3. In Game 3, Samael ascended to godlike status as Evil Geniuses hunted OG's course without mercy. Samael in, straight away. No mercy. And finishes off the kill. And he's not quite done yet. Samael jumps in, Avalon, top three, where he gets at it. Trying to hide in the trees, but Samael and S4, they're hunting. They're finding Samael with the triple kill. But OG bent without breaking to take the last match of the day. Crits looking for a play too, looking for the squad. Swap. Anna, Manta tries to dodge it off, does manage to back off. Hot as she gets tossed in by Samael there. Oh, uh oh. OG now feel like they can maybe try and take this fight, but Samael is in. Take it out with a hurry missile, they'll get RTZ. Can they get anything more? They're able to oh, find Tony. The They're able to find Fly the buyback hard from Anna. There's four dead on EG. Three of them do not have buyback. They're all in the agent. They're beating it down at a pace that EG can't compare to. GG is cool. OG wins the series 2-1 to one what? against Evil Geniuses, knocking EG down to the lower. OG stand just one step from the Grand Finals, their dreams of claiming the Aegis almost within reach. Optic Gaming faced daunting opponents in Virtus Pro, a team they hadn't defeated in six months. Only one could move on. With a well-timed final pick Huskar, CCNC was absolutely unkillable. CCNC just live breaks forward, looking to break the back of Virtus Pro. Optic took game one with ease. Game two would find Ramses on his signature Broodmother. The reinforcements have arrived. BKB from Ramses, 33, can't even get the lasso. He never got the control. And Virtus Pro looked unstoppable as they forced game three. The final battle would be a bloodbath. They were caught inside, but no one. As I said, that combo is already back up. He'll take CC and C. One core after the other falls to no one's fists. No one's tiny crushed Optic's chances, pushing Virtus Pro onward to face off against EG. Next, Team Secret and VGJ Storm battled for survival. But Secret had a card up their sleeve. It's mobile anyway, even if you counter it. It's be Meepo. <laughs> it's a Meepo. <laughs> They've got range raxes left in mid and... They rode Ace's last pick, Nepo, to resounding Game 1 victory. Game 2 wouldn't be so easy. Both teams scraped and clawed to gain an advantage. But now the terrorize into the stone cage. What a beautiful combination. BGJ Storm. Here comes Yapstor, laying damage into resolution. He needs two more swipes, one more. The body block that we want, the long range toss. They get him with Ace, he's dead. No buyback, only Snake King can do it now. Team Secret overcame resolution's divine rapier on Medusa to steal victory and a 2-0 sweep. In the final series, Virtus Pro matched up against their second North American opponent of the day. This time, EG. And the Storm Spirit does come out. We're in for a treat this game. Coming immediately blink out from Tiny is there. Samael zips forward, give the quick and easy Bloodstone charge, and he'll get it. For Roger the side, the Spitter as well. It's out of the with Samael. In with the zip, gets the double kill. Samael's signature Storm Spirit overwhelmed Virtus Pro in game one. Game two started in VP's favor. RTZ does not have leap for a couple of seconds. There's the toss from Pasha, right click from Solo. Samel has the concoction turn, gets the serve, off, and Samel will go down. They've got 11 kills already. Avalanche combo comes out. Can he get out of this one, Samel? He's falling pretty low. He can it again. Fly with the bounce of the chamber. 9 HP, lives on 10 HP, 8 HP. But EG held strong behind a beastly alchemy. He's dying. But EG are finding the base. They're finding no one. They're on top of it. They GG call it. GG. Cool. Evil geniuses will knock Francis Pro out of the competition. Yeah. EG move one step closer to the Aegis.
picks that they've got as well. The Spectre so often. And now he's being chased down with the Spirit Vessel. Into the fountain they go, and Sumail hits the deck. 100 seconds gone. Jump into Tier 4, close it out, and LGD secure Game 1. There, the fear, the catch. Is it going to be the kill? They take him down. Sumail, no buyback for 65 seconds. This is looking like it's going to be it as Sumail. Last one alive for the team, dead again. And GG, LGD are moving on to the Grand Finals. He's in the corner. 